Good morning, you fine person sitting right there. It's another video. How's it going? Have you subscribed to the channel yet? We make new videos almost every day. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss one. Today, we're in Rothsay, Minnesota, and we're making our way towards St. Paul, Minnesota, which is Minneapolis. I always just call the whole thing Minneapolis, but I guess technically it is Minneapolis and St. Paul. We're going to St. Paul today. Got to unload the lumber that's on my trailer. We had that flat tire yesterday, which delayed us a little bit, but we're still on time. We're going to make it. We're going to get unloaded, and then i got to run back to Thief River Falls where there's a reload waiting for me on another trailer. Got to drop this empty, pick up that loaded, tie it down, and zip it home. That'll get me home for the weekend. So let's get moving. Home's not getting any closer, just sitting here.
north side of Minneapolis, St. Paul right now, about to cross the river. Just around the corner, well I guess a little more than around the corner, a little ways up the road, we turn on to uh, I-35 West southbound, or I-35W southbound, however you want to say that. And that'll take us down south towards the city center, not all the way in the city center, but closer to it. Gotta be very careful because everybody seems to be a little bit more feisty and aggressive today than usual. Everybody's having a bad day. That's okay. I'm having a good day. I just don't want to get involved in any of their bad days. You know what I mean? I'm filming this on a Friday. And the snow hasn't fallen yet, so I guess people are still... Uh, you know, out and about doing stuff Fridays is supposed to be the weekend. Summertime you get a lot of traffic going out to the cabins in Wisconsin and northern Minnesota. It might be the weekend that everyone's taking to clean up their cabins and cottages too so they might be headed out there for you know one of the last weekends of the season. Clean everything up, get it ready for winter, get their boat out of the water maybe. Maybe it's too early for that. I don't know. I don't got a boat. Wish I had a boat, but when would I use it? That's the thing. Like, I'd love to have it, but... I don't have time to go to the lake. Maybe one day I will. I'm hoping so. I'd love to have a cabin by the lake one day. That's, that is the, the end goal, the cherry on top of my life goals and ambitions when it comes to properties and... All right, this is MN uh, Minnesota 280, I believe. Yeah, Minnesota 280 South. We're about to exit. meters. Take Como Avenue and then slight right and 15 meters. Como Avenue, that's the one. Okay, so this is St. Paul, population 311 some thousand. Oh, this is a sharp exit, oh my. Okay. Okay, wow. Do they make it wide enough for a truck and trailer? Slide right and then. Slide right. right in 40 meters. <laughs> slide right, Karen. Ah, just a slide right. Slide right. Max speed, five miles an hour. All right, what do we got? We got a yield sign here to my right. Nobody coming, nobody coming. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I get my myself around here. Go. That was a big U-Haul Depot. In 200 meters, turn left on Como Avenue and then approaching destination on the left side in 130 meters. It was one of those deliveries again, just quick, quick, quick. I know most of my deliveries are pretty quick and I have to take the time to take my straps off and roll them up. So I don't always have time to quickly go run grab the camera, but uh, I know a lot of you are asking, you want to see the unloading process. I'll explain it to you in detail. There was a yellow forklift with two forks and it came and it took everything off the trailer. There, now you're all filled in. That's what you missed. So I have this empty trailer. Let's go bring this trailer to Thief River Falls and grab a different one with some stuff on it. I like it better when the trailer has stuff on it. It just makes me feel better. Makes my bank account feel better. All right. We are in St. Paul. It's a big city. Minneapolis, St. Paul. I don't know if you can see it. There's a downtown is right behind those buildings over there. It's Minneapolis. Uh, St. Paul's downtown is that way. Can't see it from here. I want to go home. Enough talking. All right, let's go. In 300 meters, turn right on 21th Avenue. So fall is in full swing. Of 
up in Manitoba already, just north of here. Trees are all changing color and everything, leaves are falling. Just down here in Minnesota, it hasn't quite hit them as hard yet. You see a lot of green trees here yet. But it's coming. They're usually about like a week or two behind us. Over 200 meters, turn right on, 29th Avenue.
still rolling. We got about an hour until we get to US 59, which is going to take us up north to Thief River Falls. I'm trying to figure out what town we're rolling through here. We are in Minnesota. Uh, can't find any town names here anywhere. Oh, oh, what's that say? Usually it says it on these like flags in the middle of the. I can't tell. Is this Detroit Lakes? It might be Detroit Lakes. I recognize it because I come through here all the time. I just can't think of the name right now. Whatever. We're in a town, Minnesota town. They're all very nice. I've said it before, but I love small town America. I will take a small town over a big city any day. Any day. I like visiting the cities, but I I just I don't think I could live there with the hustle and bustle and you know, it's a different culture. It's a different lifestyle. It's a different, it's different in a lot of ways. And I can't help my preferences. No, this is definitely not Detroit Lakes yet. No, definitely not. It's way too small for that. Can't find any town names anywhere. There's Central Lakes College, Staples Campus. Is this Staples then? Is that this, the name of this town? Staples. Staples, Minnesota. Pretty sure that's what the town's called. Ah, there. Detroit Lakes is where we turn north on the 59. Ah, that's an hour ahead. I should have known that. Should have known that. Been having a good day, though. Really good. Everything's working out. I made it to Thief River Falls. I've got my new trailer behind me with the load on it. I'm tired though. I'm gonna go to bed right here and go home in the morning. So thanks for hanging out with me today. It was a rush, rush kind of day. We got quite a bit in. We got 828 kilometers done, so a little over 500 miles. Not bad. We have two and a half hours left to drive back home, to, uh, back to the yard tomorrow. I'll drop this load off in the yard. Pardon me, in the yard with the trailer, the trailer and the load. We'll drop them both off there. And uh, it'll probably get unloaded Monday, I'm guessing. And then I'll head home. I'm headed back there to bed now. Remember to be safe, stay safe, and drive safe out there. See you tomorrow.